Very good afternoon my friends, how are you? Hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new live trading video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. So of course uh, we are back now to the 20 pips a day strategy and I'm going to use the basic fundamentals of support and resistance and I'm going to use also Fibonacci retracement just to confirm uh, if my entries are valid. Uh, what I'm seeing right now on the pound uh, JPY it seems like really a good valid entry and I'm gonna sell the pair right now. Now of course I need to mention first uh, I need to welcome our new subscribers and followers for Extreme Trader and those who wish to join or actually want to learn the strategy that I'm using in this very same video you can please go to my channel on YouTube and scroll down till the end uh, not till the end I mean until like was last one year you will find this video here says Forex strategy 20 pips a day followed by Forex live trading 70 pips profit in one day made so these two videos are going to give you a quick uh, review about the strategy and the rules that we are going to use in it so you know exactly what I'm about to do in this uh, video so right now here what I have seen here for the uh, Euro GPY sorry for the pound GPY is simply seeing that resistance level right here and seeing that, that later on that very same resistance after this bearish breakout candle has now been respected again and the pair most likely is gonna continue falling now I need to mention something very important um, if you want to get the best results of using the 20 pips a day strategy uh, it's very important to know which pairs you are selecting in your trades uh, for me personally I prefer to use it on the pound pairs the pound pairs actually can give you a lot of profits and uh, one if even once more reversal can give you really a very good profit you don't really have to wait for the trade long time to expire also euro and ZD is very good pair that you can use with this strate uh, strategy uh, gold as well is really good also because a small reversal can give a lot of profits and if I'm not mistaken uh, NZD JPY also can be very useful uh, Euro AUD as well these pairs in my opinion are the best to be used with the uh, 20 pips a day strategy and you can focus them and hopefully you will get really better results and uh, this is exactly what I'm about to do right in this very same video now as you can see I'm on the one hour chart uh, for the pound JPY and usually I should exit my trade at the nearest support which is laying right here but that's actually about 70 pips that's a lot that's not my target and what I'm trying to always promote here on my channel is never be greedy and always accept a uh, small profit as long as you are in profit you should be fine therefore <clears throat> this is what I'm going to do I set my take profit level to be 20 pips only and for the sake of those who just want to learn more I'm going to set the same to be as my stop loss almost like that yes stop loss is gonna be as same uh, of 20 uh, pips target now that being said let's now move on to the other pairs and hopefully I can find some other setups now let me just sh just show you example um, this setup here I'm ignoring it's not valid at all for me for the pound and ZD it's very important that we need to mention the reason why I'm dropping so many setups I can see here so for example uh, the pound and ZD right now <clears throat> what I can see right here that we're having right here the resistance level and right here the support level pound and ZD is currently in the middle between them so meaning it's really in a very bad position right now that I cannot decide if I want to buy or sell the pair now not only that of course let's say that the pair was here at this level so let's assume that this candle has rise more and it reached this resistance level it is a still very bad position I don't want I don't want to enter it the reason is if we look at the left we can see that there was so many attempts that is very bad drawing hold on guys uh, let me just show you for example let's say that the candle was right here if we look at the left we can see that we had here a fake breakout and we had here so many attempts of the resistance now as you might know already 
the main rule of the strategy is you are aiming only the first or the second attempt of any support or resistance seeing these uh, numbers of the attempts on that resistance uh, can actually disqualify this uh, setup and I cannot really enter it at all therefore uh, this setup is a big no for me and I'm not gonna bother now let's see right here what we can see on the pound AUD uh, pound AUD is actually let me go to the 30 minute time frame actually that was a good entry but uh, it's kind of late um, if we can look here guys I can see that we had here a previous uh, resistance level that is the resistance and that resistance has become later a tiny small support like that but it did not hold the position for a long time and immediately been followed by this bearish breakout candle and the market went up again right here so that resistance kept its position as a resistance now the problem is I cannot really enter right now because the market has reversed for almost 12 pips already that means my entry is uh, gonna be late pound CAD has the same issue with the pound NZD it's right now at the at the resistance level that is good I respect that however I don't respect seeing so many attempts like that here and there at the very same level and not only that the pound CAD recently is going in so much hard consolidation mode or ranging mode that means it's not really the best pair that I want to enter it's not giving me a clear image about any support or resistance please take a look at that ugly uh, movement uh, we can see that not a single support or resistance has been respected in this uh, zone right here and even later on we can see the ranging market is just ranging like that therefore that means uh, placing any trade on the pound CAD is gonna be gambling which is totally not the case here in Forex now what we can see on the pound CHF is I can see immediately good level to start shorting right away of course that's perfect level to start shorting because we are having right here the resistance level that resistance has again been respected and kept the position as a resistance also we had that the very same uh, level of the resistance has become a key support level which has been immediately broken out by this very strong bearish candle uh, the, bear the bearish breakout candle has been going for almost 120 pips that's a lot and that means that the bears are controlling this market most likely the pound CHF is gonna continue the fall all the way until it hit that previous support level now notice something that this is actually 26 pips and I'm gonna stick to it let me just raise this one so you can see uh, my profits uh, and of course I'm gonna set the same as my stop loss actually I'm ex I'm expecting that the pound CHF is gonna continue falling all the way until it hit that previous uh, support level right there let me just see that on the four hour charts on the four hour chart it's also looking very appealing for for the short and I think we have made the right decision uh, looking at these signals now for the not signals I mean the pairs of the pound of the USD we can see that my expectation for the pound USD was accurate thankfully and I believe the idea of the safe box was really good we can see that the pair has reversed exactly at the um, border of my safe box and it did not exceed it and now it has went and back in profit I believe we are going to use the safe box now from now on, on in all of our uh, weekly analysis videos um, right now pound USD is not in a good sell position I need to wait for it to reach my entry area which I have mentioned in the weekly video uh, the weekly analysis video as we can see we are still uh, 50, uh, 17 pips far away from that level um, AUD USD as well has reached the border or the, uh, the maximum level of my safe box and thankfully it has reversed and right now it's going deep in the profit it has went in total of uh, 77 pips of profit that's really good I'm just re re reviewing with you the weekly signals right now I'm gonna go to the other pairs later we can see also uh, USD CAD is in good profit thankfully fantastic EURUSD did not even exceed the, the entry point of 
the safe box and so far still going in profit USD GPY has already reached the tech profit level and hit 100 pips of profit and still go keep going down more and more in profit USD CHF did not reach the sell area I just advise if you can buy here if you if you don't want to buy that's okay but the, sig the signal was mainly for the short right at that level so uh, let's anyway continue uh, the live trading session now as I mentioned to you all the pound pairs didn't have really good entries let me go to the euro AUD euro AUD should give me something good actually let me go to the 30 minute time frame uh, we are on a resistance level however I really hate that price action which looks like a pin bar however it's a dodgy and therefore I believe we can still short the euro AUD right on that level and the good thing about euro AUD look at that just a small tiny reversal is gonna give me the pips I'm seeking and I'm gonna set the same for the stop loss actually it's a little bit more uh, 23 pips should be fine as a stop loss let's check the the first trade of the pound GPY still going in the profit so far good almost uh, 8 pips uh, let me go back to the A euro AUD okay let's uh, continue right now euro and ZD oh yeah euro and ZD is in a very good place for the short right now of course because we are seeing right here that we had that resistance level and that resistance has keeping has kept its position as a resistance and the pair most likely gonna continue the fall I don't think this pair is gonna make a reverse here um, they make the bullish reversal until it hit that support level right here if I'm not mistaken that's gonna be Fibonacci 61.8 if I'm not mistaken exactly that support level is laying right here on the FIBO 61.8 uh, I think the pair is gonna reverse only uh, after it hit that level and until then the pair is gonna continue the bearish reversal so we should be good and let me just set my take profit level look at that perfect fantastic just a small reversal is all what I'm needing um, you know something I'm going to rise or sorry to increase my take profit level I'm gonna make it 35 pips of profit and I'm gonna set the same for the stop loss but fantastic that's perfect and notice that my stop loss is exactly above that resistance and if in case the market has reached that resistance it means that the market is actually gonna break out from the resistance and gonna continue the rise which I really don't think is gonna happen right now let me tell you something here which I'm sure you will like let's go to the 15 minute time frame if I'm not mistaken uh, Euro and ZD is right now on Fibonacci 61.8 level look at that what I'm going to do exactly fantastic it is indeed on FIBO 61.8 and notice that I just what I did was only drawing the Fibonacci from this low from this higher high to this higher low that means Fibonacci is gonna be accurate even if you draw it on these uh, tiny frames and let's see what will gonna happen right now um, Fibonacci is gonna be very helpful here because as I told you before uh, Fibonacci 61.8 is the golden jackpot level of Fibonacci retracement because if the pair has actually exceeded that level it means that this trend is no more a bearish trend it's gonna be a bullish trend and that means that the market gonna uh, change the direction and gonna continue the rise so we have now these four trades opened let's check, it, check them right now Pound GPY still going in profit. Uh, pound CHF is still ranging at the, at the entry level. Same goes to the Euro AUD and Euro. Sorry, yeah, Euro NZD is still going fine. And uh, notice my entry points uh, are accurate at exactly what I wanted to be, and that is of course because I'm using IC markets, and that is in my opinion the best broker in the world for trading forex, especially for scalping and I would really appreciate your support of that channel if you use the link provided in the description below open account in IC markets give it a try give it a shot and believe me it will change the whole way of your trading uh, forex experience so 
uh, right now we can see all these trades all these trades are going so far well actually they are going well let me now pause the video and uh, after that i'm going to show you what will going to happen with these trades okay so that is a very good example what's happening right now we can see that the euro nzd is actually exceeding the fibonacci 61.8 level of course not all of the trades will be in profit that's totally normal um please look at the left right here my friends as you can see i have the indicator that can tells me uh, if the candle how much time still has uh, or each candle how much time it still has for the expiration of the candle as as we can see still 20 seconds left and i think this candle is gonna close as a full bullish candle like that and yes 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 it's exceeding the fibo 61.8 and i think we will have to close this trade with the loss right away just like that uh i know we lost uh, this trade however uh, that's for the safety for everyone i i wanted to keep looking at the candle most likely right now is gonna continue rising all the way until it hit the fibo 100 level is gonna continue the rising that's for sure uh, i was actually suspecting this um this candle here i saw this candle here where is it was it on the euro aud i saw that yes this one okay uh, i was confused with with another trade sorry all right so that makes make them three trades uh we need to recover the losses right now so let's see if we can recover them and what actually i'm seeing right now on the pound uh, nzd might be a little bit interesting let me just go back to the one hour chart it seems like the pound NZD is getting some strength and it's gonna continue rising. Let me go to the 50 minute time frame and let's see if there was any good support level on the very same uh, or the current level here so I can rely on it. I am. Um, I don't see a strong res a support, however, I see a strong resistance which is right here and right here. Let me just show you right here and right here and also right here indicating that the, the the pair most likely is gonna continue rising as i said to hit the top of that resistance level i'm just thinking if i should place the buy order right here yes 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 i might be late but definitely yes uh, the pair has reversed at the very same level of the previous resistance and it's gonna continue rising let me just set the tech profit level to be also 20 pips at the top of that resistance and i'm gonna set the same amount also for uh, the stop loss look at that yes indeed the pair is rising as expected so the stop loss is 25 pips and the tech profit is also 23 pips let's make it 25 24 like that perfect as i told you uh, the pair is rising because as we can see we had a previous uh, resistance level right here and right here and here as well um that is the resistance zone and the pair was right on it so let's say if this candle went a little bit uh, down against me it's just gonna go down for like three or four pips before continue rising that's why i decided that i'm gonna uh, place the trade right away uh, let's check the euro aud now euro aud is going against me uh, that's also normal as we can see we're having the top of the resistance uh, level right here now let's check that in fibonacci retracement it's now approaching fibonacci 61.8 as well therefore what i'm going to do i'm gonna open another sell order right here for the euro aud actually i need to increase the stop loss because um, there is a chance that the market actually might go a little bit more up so let me just uh, make sure how many pips is that from the first trade is 32 pips so on the first trade i'm gonna also increase the take profit level and i'm going to make it the same 32 pips that's really fine that's really good actually good it's really good practice to show you how we can do these scalping uh, trades and also what you can do in case the trade has went against you what is the right decision to do as you can see for the euro nzd i decided that i must close the trade with the loss with no hope of a reversal 
but for the euro iud it's different scenario because we are having right here a resistance one and also um i'm expecting the market to reverse on resistance two and also it is uh, on fibo 61.8 therefore i have placed that trade just right here as we can see right now um the majority of the trades are going in profit except for the first trade of the euro aud and look at that pound and zd is going in profit um this one also going in profit so all in all the trades are right now on the break even as you can see so let me now pause this video my friends and i'll be back to you once uh, or i will be i'll be back to you to show you what will gonna happen with the other trades so just showing you what's happening right now pound and zd is going in a very good profit so far of uh, 20 pips and i believe that's our target therefore i'm gonna close it right now uh with the profit i think it's gonna continue rising however i just like to secure the profit so we have closed the trade with almost uh, 21 or 22 pips of profit which is really fine uh pound gpy is right now going in almost 10 pips of profit or 9 pips of profit uh, my our only issue right now is the pound uh, sorry is the euro aud and please pay attention to what's happening right now the pair is not able to actually exceed fibonacci 61.8 because as i told you the exceeding of that uh, pay, uh, retracement means that the direction of the trend has been changed and as we can see on the four hour chart uh, i d i really don't i don't think this is gonna happen right now uh, let me frankly be speaking with you. I need to ch change my stop loss. I think the stop loss is really way too big. Uh, sorry, not too way too big. I mean, it's so far to where I'm expecting the pair to actually uh, fall and reverse. Um, we can see this actually on 50 pips. That should be fine because I really don't think the pair is gonna uh, reach that point and I'm not gonna let it anyway. So the stop loss right here yeah 54 pips uh let's see what will gonna happen so far the euro aud is okay let's take a look at pound gpy uh, sorry pound gpy has hit the tech profit level fantastic very nice very nice we have reached almost 22 pips of uh, profit in that trade and the account is growing almost thousand uh, dollars we are only struggling with the euro aud in case this trade has went in loss i'm going to recover with another trade that's what we are doing as a forex traders so until then let me now pause the video and i'll be back to you later to show you what's gonna happen with these trades all right actually i'm a little bit upset because the losses from the euro aud is getting bigger uh, we are nearly a hundred dollars uh, loss of uh, that one trade and maybe it was not the wise decision to open two trades on it however um pound chf we are actually recovering and so far it's going in 23 pips of profit i'm going to actually close the pound chf right now yes i think it's gonna hit the tech profit level anyway and let's see what will gonna happen uh, i think that's fine that should be fine yeah 64 dollars profit now uh we are facing major problem with the euro aud um actually i was hoping for a reversal at the top of that resistance anyway we will see what can happen if it hit the stop loss then that's it now actually i'm not upset about the losses because they are huge i'm just upset because um that was not really the best decision to open two trades on the euro aud and with being so reckless like that i have increased the losses to be honest and that is um not good let me see what we can do right now so we need the fast recovery right let's see the euro the, the gold oh shit the gold is exceeding my safe box and the signal is not valid anymore hmm let's see what's happening right now the gold is gonna reach is gonna continue rising until it hit that resistance level right here um the gold was actually going in profit from my uh, signal as we can see right here once it's it actually actually reached this level it went into 76 uh, pips of profit and then again went back in loss uh, at least my expectation for the gold was some were, were somehow correct because i i said that the gold is gonna fall down like that go up here and then reverse down 
uh, only this movement here actually screwed it up and I apologize for uh, losing the signal for the goal this week anyway let's focus on what we are having right now uh, for the euro AUD as I said we are going to leave it until it hit the stop loss so we need to recover the losses quickly so actually gold is usually my safe um, option to, to recover the losses however I don't see right now any valid setup for the gold except for waiting for it to reach the top of that resistance we are having right here resistance number one and right here on resistance two we can expect for the gold to reverse however uh, it might take really long time and I don't want to do that so let's see what other options do we have um, to recover quickly from these losses we have made uh, the accountants is so far in above thousand dollars which is my target however uh, this trade of the euro AUD is really screwing me up and uh, it is uh, wiping all the profits we have made therefore i just really i'm i'm grateful because i want to show the to show you the reality that not every day is going to be very profitable and also if in case you have made losses which is very normal in forex let's see how we can actually recover them of course some days you will be making losses in forex that's how how this universe works and therefore we need to see what we can do now to recover the potential losses is gonna happen if in case the euro AUD did not reverse I'm right now trying my best to find any good and decent setup that I can enter right away uh, euro GPY at the top of that resistance look at that that's the reason I don't like to sculpt the euro pound look at that if it's gonna reverse for 20 pips that's gonna take like forever and I am on the 30 minute time frame I really don't want to wait that long let me delete these lines I was I was actually correct about this one I was right um, I said it looks like a pin bar and it seems like the pair is actually might make a bullish reversal and indeed it did yeah rookie mistakes I know let's see what we can do right now here um euro chf is uh, a big no i don't like to trade this pair at all uh let's see what about euro cad uh let's see on our chart no the bullish momentum seems very strong i don't think it's gonna be wise idea to uh, trade that pair uh, my friends just to save your time let me now wait a second wait a second the gold is continue rising the gold is continue rising and exactly i'm going to set sell right here now let me just tell you the reason why did i sell here exactly is because i can see that we are having here that resistance level and we are having this bearish breakout candle from that uh, resistance level not only that but if we zoom in let me just zoom and show you what i saw here exactly uh, we can see that we are having right here a resistance number one because it's exactly on the very same level of the previous resistance now keep in mind that trading gold might be actually better idea if you are using IC markets please pay attention to the spread I have on the gold it's only 1.6 or 2 pips only uh, 1.6 pip or 2 pips only on the gold I mean that's amazing that's what I really want and the commission is just one dollar that's totally fine and here it is I have placed the cell right here I'm expecting for it to reverse uh, let's say for this for this resistance here so we're looking for 35 pips 89 dollars hopefully gonna be in profit of course I'm not 100% sure that the trade is gonna be in profit it might be actually going going loss we just have to wait and see what will gonna happen uh, if it went in loss it's actually uh, I was um, I rushed actually because I just want to recover the losses on the live uh, video if I lost uh, this uh, this trade right now I'm going to pause the video for a few hours until the market calm down and give us better opportunities let's see what will gonna happen right now so far it's reversing and I'm not gonna stop until I see the profits gonna be hundred dollars or actually eighty nine dollars uh, from the gold so we can recover the losses happening from the euro AUD so 
Until then, let me now pause the video and I'll be back to you later to show you what will gonna happen with the gold and euro AUD. So I'm really relieved and very glad because this is happening right now on the live video. It's happening in front of you. Please pay attention. The losses now have been reduced to only $24 of losses and therefore we, can, we have managed to recover the losses from the Euro AUD. $23 of loss only. That's fine. I'm gonna accept it. Therefore, I have now closed all the trades of the Euro AUD and the gold is right now going in uh, $60 or... Okay, no, that's fine. I'm gonna close it right now and the account has reached $1,027. I'm gonna stop trading for a while. Then tonight I'm gonna continue. So I'm really glad because it happened in front of you guys. The idea here that is you are a forex trader. Of course, some days you will be having bad days and you will actually fail some of the trades. But the question is, what are you going to do about it? Are you going to uh, whine about it the whole day and be sad and be angry about the losses, or you're gonna step, uh, you're gonna step up and do something? That is what I did here. Yes, we messed up in the Euro AUD. Thankfully, I found this uh, good setup on the gold and I used it to recover these losses we have made. So, please, my friends, uh, use this video as a reference. This is exactly what you should do when you are losing a trade. Just to stop looking at it and start putting your attention on a better setup that you can actually recover any potential losses from the first trade. So, in the end, I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.